David was able to defeat Goliath because he understood the battle to be spiritual and not carnal. You see, all of the armies of Saul stood there seeing this giant. They're all here in this giant. And every one of them, from Saul down to the lowliest of soldiers, was looking at the enemy through carnal eyes. Every one of them. Here come little David. I got lunch. Daddy packed lunch. Wants me to bring it to my brothers. Who's that guy up there in the middle of the valley? What's he talking? What kind of trash is he talking? And David was the only one who had a mindset that was spiritual and not carnal. David was the only one who saw the battle as being God's battle and not their battle. And therefore, that giant wasn't my enemy, he was God's enemy. And if he's God's enemy, my God is way bigger than that giant. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness and mercy. Listen to what the word of the Lord tells us in 1 Samuel 17 verse 45. Then said David to the Philistine, to Goliath, Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defiled, or defied, I'm sorry, amen, whom thou hast defied. Oh my goodness, have mercy. David saw that circumstance very differently than the armies of Saul did. And you know what? Every soldier in Saul's army, including Saul himself, would have gone to their grave if they'd have gone out into that valley to face off with Goliath. The only one who would he covered on my sheep the only one who was guaranteed success was the one who was walking in the spirit. Mm 